The first drill I'd like you to try is what I call the thumb drag or zipper drill. It's simply where you drag your thumb or zip your thumb up the side of your body and tap your thumb to your armpit. The reason we do this is to get that nice high elbow and to get you gliding on your side. So I love watching kids do the thumb drag because they show off their nice pretty elbows and it gets them gliding on their side. So enjoy the thumb drag and feel the power in your hips and show off your beautiful elbows. Okay, first drill is the easy one, the thumb drag. Great streamline, glide on your side, show off your pretty elbows, and tap that thumb to the armpit. First group, ready, go. Great streamline. I love how they're just gliding with their hips. This thumb drag will force you to get on your side and use your hips. Minimal head movement, great little six beat kick. My son Luke is, has a good strong six beat kick, I love it. Haley can kick a little bit more. Good, Haley kick a little bit more. Everything else was perfect. Thumb drag, ready, go. Good streamlines. They can squeeze the elbows a little bit tighter though. They both do this very well, the twins, Wyatt and Julia. Great head position, great body line, good six beat kick, beautiful elbows. That looks great. Well done, gang, that was perfect. I love that drill, love your elbows. The next drill is the hard one. Now, thumb drag was easy. The fist drill is kind of hard because in essence, it's like cutting off your hands. You don't have any hands. You have to really focus on what your forearm and bicep are pulling. And so the fist drill is gonna feel weird, but it's such a good drill to make you hypersensitive. That means you're getting more sensitive to how your forearm and bicep can grab and feel the water. Now remember, the power comes from the hips. And so the whole time I'm staying connected to my hips, but getting a deep arm pull, and even though I'm making a fist, I can grab a lot of water and propel myself forward. Now please don't be a cheater and do this. Don't be a cheater. A real fist to do the drill right to make you better. Now remember, the whole time, you've got a strong, steady six beat kick all the time. Second one is the hard one, the fist drill. Great streamline, make the fist, pop the elbow, stay connected to the hips. First group, ready? Great streamline with the finger straight, I like it. Now they make the fist. This is hard. It's gonna feel weird when you take away your hands. But if you keep driving with the hips, keep popping the elbow, you can grab lots of water with the forearm. They don't look like they're hustling and being crazy. They still look long and smooth. Just right. I know that drill feels weird, but you did it perfectly. They do their dolphin kicks, enjoy the streamline. Even the two young ones, they glided past the flags. That's very important. So they're both doing a great job. They're entering in front of their head a little bit. I'd like them to enter more in front of their shoulder. But again, this is a great drill to get more hypersensitivity to the water. Julian Wyatt, super job. Don't enter so much in front of the head, maybe enter in front of the shoulder, but everything else was perfect. Well done. The third drill is what we call the ketchup. Not the kind you put on your french fries. The ketchup is where you take a stroke and you let the hands catch up to each other for two seconds. One, one, two, one, two. Now you notice that my hands are right in front of the shoulders like I taught you. When I was young, I used to do ketchup touching my thumbs so I wouldn't be a cheater and hold it for two seconds. Well. Now, I have my hands enter in front of my shoulders because I have watched every world record in the freestyle for the last 20 years, many with my own eyes. I'm friends with those people. I train with those people. I know exactly what they do. And all the great freestylers put their hands in front of their shoulders. So when I do the catch-up, I keep my hands in front of my shoulders. 
for two seconds. Now the other component to the ketchup is a dash kick. Do you remember Dash from the Incredibles movie? I love that movie. But remember Dash, he has that super fast freestyle kick to save the family. I want you, while you're doing the ketchup, to have a super dash kick.